they don't bring them in here until they're staggered. Yeah. Correct. Uh, I'll, I'll have the names a little bit before. Maybe like eight per game. Absolutely. Need more than one? Our satellite coordinates all weekend here from Milwaukee are AMC 15, transponder K12B, downlink frequency 11935.50 horizontal, data rate 11.914. Just some reminders that I'm sure most of you know, uh, but no video photography or flash photography, and please silence your cell phones in this area. Raise your hand, wait for a microphone, please give your name and affiliation. We'll have the winning coach first. He'll make a statement, then some questions for the student athletes from Butler. They'll be dismissed, then questions for the coach, if you can please respect that. And then uh, the Winthrop coach and student athletes will be in. Thank you. Thank you.
We're going to be joined by Butler student athletes Andrew Schrabis, Avery Woodson, and Tyler Lewis, and Butler head coach Chris Holtman. Again, the format is that the head coach will make an opening statement. We'll open it up for questions for the student athletes, then release them, and then questions for the head coach. Coach, please. Uh, I was uh, proud of our guys' effort today. I was really proud of their effort. I think they had great uh, regard and respect for a Winthrop team that we knew was very uh, good and capable. And um, I liked their attention to detail for, for the most part in the game. And I really liked their ability, willingness to share the ball for the most part in the game. So I thought we did some good things against a quality team. Uh, proud of them for their effort. Questions for the student athletes, please. Uh, Brett McCormick from the Rock Hill Herald. Um, how, how did you guys think you did uh, defensively on Keon Johnson? I thought. Um, I think we did a pretty good job. You know, he's a very explosive player and, and can get going at any point in time. But I think we, I think we did a good job containing him. Yes. Uh, David Woods from the Indianapolis Star. Uh, Avery, you seemed a little cold in here yesterday wearing that parka. I wonder if you got any uh, pushback from your teammates over there and if you uh, felt a lot, a lot warmer during that first half. Uh, they know where I'm from. I'm not used to this cold weather. And, <laughs> and uh, they had no problem with me wearing that jacket. John said I was good. So, but. The first half, I was just the end result of a, a great ball movement. Uh, our playmakers did a, a great job of getting me open, so credit goes to them. Uh, how critical was it to kind of like check their runs every time they tried to get, you know, maybe 7-2, seven 7-0 seven oh run? It seemed like you guys were able to kind of knock them back. No, yeah, that's the big thing about the NCAA tournament is that there's going to be a game of runs. Um, like, like we said, they're a very explosive team. Um, so uh, maintaining it and controlling how, like how limited the run is, it's important. Um, I think the one run when they, where they got to seven was a little too much, um, especially because it was lack of defense and some effort plays on our end and some execution on offense during that stretch. Um, but like, like we said, we, we contained their big scorers, I think, pretty well. Um, little things here and there that we just got to fix before Saturday. Rich Robito, Associated Press. Uh, <clears throat> Avery, uh, you had a pretty big game here against Marquette uh, back in February. Uh, is another hot shooting night today, too. Uh, any, any, are you comfortable playing here, obviously? Um, I just play. Man, I can't give you a direct answer to why, but I'm just playing, honestly. Hey, Tyler. Uh, Greg Doyle from the Indy Star. Hi. Um, about midway through the second half, you started dominating by pen penetrating. Did they switch defenders? Did you get in the mood? I mean, what happened? What switch got flicked, if anything? Well, coaches are always on me about my pace and just controlling the pace out there on, on the court, and that's what I wanted to do. And there was a couple of scenes out there, and I just split the gaps a couple of times, and they gave me a lane to the basket, and I was able to m make a couple layups. Uh, you know, for, for Andrew, um, a couple things. One, what's what's it like when you're, uh, you know, when the four other guys are, are playing with with Tyler, and he's, you know, he's he's really out there with, you know, flair, and that ball is just moving so fast. And then also, um, any residual effect coming off the the two losses to end the season, because it, you know, it, it seemed like those, you know, happened like three years ago instead of uh, a week ago. Um. So yeah, those two losses, I mean, those were learning experiences for us. I mean, obviously you don't want to lose. Um, but at the same time, especially from the Xavier game, we, we could take a lot away from that game. Um, but uh, as for our offense, um, we, well, we know whenever we move the ball well side to side, getting paint touches, any, everything like that, that's when we're at our best. Um, when we're stationary, playing a little bit one-on-one, -on -one, that's when we're hurting ourselves. So today, just like I said, I think we did a really good job just had, had good pace with most of our offensive sets and uh, moved the ball side to side really well. Uh, Tom Silverstein with the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Andrew, what was it like? Uh, it seemed like they switched on a lot of your screens and a couple times 
you were on Keon, or Keon Johnson was trying to guard you. What was, what do you think they were trying to do? And then what was your plan when that happened? Um, I actually faced that a lot with the Big East schedule, um, switching one through four. Um, you just have to read it. I mean, some teams trap it. Some teams are sitting on your lap with the, the other defenders. Um, I think I should have been a little bit more patient or a little bit more aggressive at times. Um, but at the same time, we had a lot of open looks from passing it. In. Like I said, our, our formula is get it inside out, rather, whether it's paint touches or whether it's getting into the post. Um, so yeah, switching to one through four, just have to read it. But uh, at the same time, I, think, I thought we did a really good job moving the ball around today. Anything else for the student athletes? All right, guys, you're free to go. Thank you. And now we'll entertain questions for coach, please. Uh, Chris, this is Michael Cohen from the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Uh, what did you think of what Kamar was able to do today? And in addition to his performance, how did you think the hedging of your bigs influenced what Keon was and wasn't able to do? Uh, it was really important. It was really important for the game. Um, you know, he's so dynamic with the ball. I thought our, I thought Kamar, <clears throat> you know, worked extremely hard to make it difficult for him. And he got loose a little bit there in that stretch in the second half. But I thought he was really critical. Listen, I, my staff just told me that I – uh, looked terrible and looked like I hadn't slept in a week, and which was nice of him. <laughs> and the reason was that kid. I mean, he is a load to guard. Coach, uh, can you just talk about the way that Tyler was able to have that four or five minute stretch in the second half after they made their run and how his play influenced you guys pushing the lead back up? Hey, I think it was really it just, you know, his, his uh, we've seen him do that all year, kind of come in and and make really um, impactful stretches. And um, you know, I think it was important for him. He, he, you know, sometimes there's difficult matches for, matchups for him to guard out there, and that limits, can limit his overall minutes. When, when we don't have to, you know, when, when we can put him in there and leave him in there and he's, um, he's helping our defense, he is, he's just terrific with the ball and uh, terrific. And uh, he was terrific today. Other questions for Coach? Coach, you, you, uh, we know, all know what a tough business the college basketball can be. Just wonder what, what your reaction was to uh, Indiana uh, firing Tom Crean today, or, or if you even knew that that had occurred. Uh, did that happen? It, 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 it happened, it happened uh, right before the tournament started. You know, I, um, I, you know, I, I don't know what to, to say to that. I've got a lot of respect for Tom, and I've got a lot of respect for how his team's, team plays. You know, I had one of my closest friends lose a job not too long ago at Illinois. And uh, listen, we, we all get into this knowing, knowing the deal. Uh, do I disagree with those decisions? Absolutely. Absolutely I do. And am, am I biased about, you know, do I disagree with the decision at Illinois? Absolutely. They, they don't care, but I know how hard that guy works, and I know how committed he was to his players, and I believe he was really close to turning the corner. Um, so, you know, we, we know what we, we bargained for in this whole deal, and uh, everybody wants to be here now, and when you're not here, people get upset. Anything else for Coach? Right here. Um, how, how big of a physical advantage did you feel like you had at, at certain positions? Because it seemed like it maybe showed up on the, at the free throw line a little bit. Yeah, that, that was important for us. I think um, I, it was. It's, it's how we need to play. We, you know, getting to the free throw line is important to us. It needs to be continue to be more important for us than what it has at times. You know, the, the Big East is brutal and it's a very physical league, but we did. You know, that was a big part of our game plan. Is could we, uh, could we impact things? Uh, from the paint out and offensively. Um, so, you know, getting to the line 30 times was critical. Did Keelan cramp up, and is there any concern for him moving forward? No, he just has Charlie Horse. I think he just got a knee to the thigh or something, but he, he's, he's fine. Um, so, I, I think he'll be sore, but uh, our training staff will do a great job with him. All right, thanks, Coach. Good luck Saturday. One more. One more? Was there one more? I'm sorry. 
Coach, does, does where you lost the past two years create any additional pressure to try and try and get to the Sweet 16 this year? There's pressure every time we play, and we love it. If you don't love pressure, then you're in the wrong spot at the wrong time. We're going to embrace it and have a lot of fun, cut loose and play. We're going to play a great team. Thank you. Joined by Winthrop student athletes Xavier Cooks and Keon Johnson. Also head coach Pat Kelsey. Coach will make an opening statement and then we'll take questions for the student athletes. Coach, please. Uh, first, I uh, wanna, wanna credit Butler. Um, tip your cap to him. I think everybody kinda knows some of the things that have been talked about. Chris and I are friends. I'm, uh, I'm happy for him and his success, and I think they're going to really make a dent in this tournament moving forward. Um, you know, they, they jumped on us early, and, uh, you know, that's a hard team to come back on because of their style of play and things like that. So um, I, 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 you credit them. You know, Keon is a senior, and he's one of the best players in the history of this school, and I thought they did uh, a very good job uh, in, in their game plan and trying to contain him. But... Um, it's a, a very fun team to coach. I told all those guys in the locker room that they have nothing to be ashamed of. They should keep their heads held high. They had a phenomenal season. Uh, in about six or seven months, there's going to be a, a banner put back up in the Winthrop Coliseum. And uh, this senior class has sort of, in my opinion, reestablished uh, Winthrop basketball to its rightful place as, as, uh, as a force in mid-major basketball. Thanks, Coach. Questions for the student athletes, please. Brett, Rock Hill Herald, um, how much did their physicality uh, impact the game? And, and not necessarily like their height or anything, but, but kind of like their girth and how solid they were. Uh, they were a big physical team. Um, uh, 45, uh, uh, great player, uh, big big guy. Uh, they shot a lot of free throws. And most of the points came from the paint. Um, so they got, I think they got to the line like at least 30 times, uh, somewhere around there. So. Uh, you know, how, how were you guys feeling when you had the 7-0 run, got it to seven points, um, timeout? You know, what, what did you, how did you feel at that point in the game? I mean, did you feel like you, you guys could make the push? I mean, we had confidence the whole game, and um, we had a lot of confidence in that little run. We've been in those positions before, and we really thought we were going to come over the hump this time, and um, unfortunately, we couldn't get it done. Other questions for the student athletes? All right, guys, you're free to go. Thank you. Thank you. And then uh, we'll entertain questions for Coach, please. Uh, how, how good was the ball movement for them early, early in the game, especially with uh, you know, Woodson being on the end of that? Yeah, they, they do a great job playing inside out. And um, you know, we worked very hard on our plan on what we were going to do when the ball went into the post. And it's. Uh, you know, the speed of their ball movement early on was faster than the moving parts of our defense and got lost a couple times in rotations. And uh, it let the Woodson kid get a couple open looks. And he's already a, uh, a very, very good three-point shooter. And when you give him three or four steps where he can kind of lick, lick his fingers and measure the wind and shoot it, he's going to make 80% of those. I bet if he's back at Hinkle shooting with nobody in the gym, he's going to make 80 out of 100 threes. Um, so we let a guy that you got to run off the three-point line get some looks. And uh, in the first half, I think he had five threes. And um, that set the tone for the game. 
In terms of what they tried to do against Keon, was it different than some of the things you've seen throughout the season? Did they do anything new, or was it just a different type of player? Different? Well, I mean, I think first and foremost, this is a Big East team, and um, you know, I, I I played at and coached at Xavier, but my family's all Xavier fans, so I watch a lot of Big East basketball, and uh, there's some bloodbaths. You know, what I mean, when you watch some of those games, and it's a strong, physical brand of basketball. And, uh, and, and we obviously knew that. And they set the tone from a physicality standpoint. And I don't think we really met the physical challenge the way we needed to. Um, they're a little bigger and stronger at some positions, but I think you have to make up for that uh, with your activity and your nastiness. And they beat us to some 50-50 balls. And you can't let bigger, stronger guys beat you to those balls where it comes down you know, to that, that, that thing there in your chest cavity. But, uh, this is a team with a lot of heart, our team, and they, they, they fight their butts off. And I think they made uh, the Winthrop fan base proud by how they played all year long. We're an eat, lose balls type team. And, um, you know, I, I, I feel like you have to tip your cap to Butler um, for beating us, I think, early on, setting the tone on some of those hustle play type things. And hey, that's Butler basketball as well. I mean, I'm not here to do a recruiting documentary for Butler, but. You know, they have a brand of basketball as well. And um, that's about toughness, and it's about defense, and it's about execution, and it's about ball movement. And uh, I like to think that sounds a little bit like Winthrop basketball as well. But um, again, you tip your cap to them. Uh, they were better today. I think they got physical with Keon, bigger, longer, stronger uh, uh, defenders, tried to limit his touches. You know, they, they ran at him off ball screens and tried to get the ball out of his hands. And, um, and you know, it, uh, it worked out for them. <laughs> Anything else for Coach? All right, thank you. Great thank you. you. Appreciate it.